20 years old. I am a Métis woman. I go to McMaster University for a few studies in political science. I'm from Orangeville, Ontario, and I'm really happy to be here. So I wrote a speech for this contest, and I would like to share it with you now. It's called Where Are Your Women? The speaker is Adekulakula, a Cherokee chief renowned for his shrewd and effective diplomacy. He has come to negotiate a treaty with the whites. Among his delegation are women as famous and more as powerful in the council. Implicit in the chief's question, where are your women? The Cherokee here, where is your balance? What is your intent? They see balance as absence and are wary of the white man's motives. They intuit the mentality of destruction. I turn to my own time. I look to the Congress, the Joint Chief of Staff, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, to the hierarchies of my church, my university, my city, my children's school, where are your women, I ask. These are the words of Cherokee Appalachian woman, Mary Lou Awikata. When posed with the question, what does Aboriginal women's leadership mean to me? Dozens of thoughts run through my mind, but only one theme remained. I picked through the quote just read, I wonder, where are our women? In traditional Aboriginal societies, the woman is defined as nourisher and the man as protector. He had the role of the helper. She acted and he reacted. New European settlers observed this behavior, observed the power of the woman, and were startled by the lack of male dominance. Indigenous nations were equally startled. How could these new people exclude 50% of their population when making decisions? How could these men disrespect the givers of life? How did this come to be? The underlying question remains, where are women? As time has passed, European settlers have done everything in their power to diminish the role of women in Aboriginal societies. The Indian Act, Bill C-31, residential schools, the 60s scoop, along with many others. Families were torn apart, human rights were abused, identities were stolen, but our spirit, our spirit could not be broken. So again, I ask, where are women? Today we are empowered, empowered to make change and to be leaders. Our pain and our suffering makes us stronger and makes us who we are. We reach out to our sisters who have lost the spirit, we rekindle the flame, and restore our place in society. Joining the three together from across the country to unite a common goal, this is where our women are. It takes one person to start a revolution, but it takes many followers to make it successful. 